Katrina from Different Drummer Dance here. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for us to gather around for a tip. So today I'm gonna to be sharing one of my go-to classroom management tools. I'm sure you've been in this situation before where you're teaching a young or an early childhood class and things are starting to get a little bit crazy. So you might have one particular student who's not having a great day and is getting a little bit unruly or the behavior is getting a little bit out of hand. So this is what I like to do in those situations. I like to offer my students a choice. So I do this for a couple reasons. Number one, because it never feels good either as a teacher or a student to just send a student out of class for misbehaving. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth as a teacher because I end up like I've failed the student. And then the, the student also doesn't have a great experience just walking out of class feeling like they didn't do a good job either. So instead of doing that, I like to offer choices. And another reason that I like doing this is it invites cooperation between you and the student and helps build more respect and more rapport. Additionally, it develops problem solving skills. So you're actually empowering your student to help give you feedback to solve the problem together. So those are great reasons why we should use choices with our young students. But if you have this situation, it might look something like this. So a student is misbehaving or getting off track and you might say something like, you know, I really would love for you to dance with us and do this exercise or game, but it seems like you're not ready. Do you need to take a break or do you wanna come dance with us? So you've given them a very clear outline of what their choices are, and then you've empowered them to help solve the problem with you. They can either choose to modify their behavior and come join and follow directions, or they just might need a moment to go sit down and collect themselves. And when they're feeling like they're ready, they can come and join you. So there's your tip for this week. I hope it helps. Leave a note in the comment and let me know if you've got another tip that you like to use in this situation, or if you'll be trying it out in your classes this week. Happy dancing and I'll see you next time. Bye.